Starting to smell good. Welcome to the Guggen Squad channel. Today we've got a very, very special guest, Cosmo. Yep. How's it going? Going great, man. Going good? Loving it. And thanks to him and thanks to really Snake River Farms, they hooked us up with some crazy meats today. And um, Rob, Rob's really excited about this. He wants to get some meat in his mouth and he's really excited <laughs> to see what was our price tag on this? Like fifteen hundred, two thousand uh, dollars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're right at about two grand for all this. We we're gonna eat two thousand dollars worth of meat. We're gonna eat a Japanese wagyu brisket, and he's gonna prepare it for us. And we're gonna learn about cooking and learn about all this stuff. So, um, yeah, what, what's the first thing we gotta do? Man, I tell you what, we're gonna do is we're gonna get this thing pulled out. Uh, it's a little frozen. We had to <laughs> put it in water. And yeah. Then, Put it in the sun to get it thawed out, but we're gonna get it pulled out, get it trimmed up, and then we'll get it on the can and start throwing the wood to it. <laughs> oh, that'll get it going. Just a nice light trim. Oh my goodness. Does that not just smell yeah. like crazy beef? Let's get some of this fat off. A lot of this flavor is gonna come from this fat dripping on that can down in the coals down there, it's gonna give it a crazy flavor. But here's one thing you're gonna notice. You got two different cuts of meat right here and, you, and they're separated by this fat seam right here. This is where our sliced is gonna come from. And then when we get done cooking it, we're gonna separate this off. This is what we call the point. This is what's gonna make burn ends. And this is the stuff that's gonna drive people crazy. Hands down, best burn ends you've ever had in your life and we get to eat them today. Holy cow, I've never seen a piece of meat like this before. I've, I've never been able to like, this is a big slab of, of Wagyu beef. And we're about to cook it, um, smoke it, and I just, my mouth is already watering and we've got to wait hours, hours until this is done. All right, so we got it trimmed up, just a light trim, just kind of get a little bit aerodynamic. And this is the point where we're gonna put, uh, put our rubs on, and I use three different rubs. I use our cow cover, our dirty bird hot, and our Texas beef. And I always season the bottom first when I'm using a cooker like this where the heat is coming from the bottom. And you can use quite a bit of seasoning on these. They're just such a big cut of meat. Just press it in there. This is the gold right here. Now we're just gonna let this sweat out for a couple minutes. As soon as it, uh, the rub's looking wet, we're gonna get it on that smoker. It's gonna take probably about uh, a cut this big, probably about four and a half, five hours. Then we're gonna pull it, rest it, separate this sucker and make burn ends. All right, so this brisket's ready to wrap. Uh, this is a, a little technique that I do. And uh, man, it just makes this brisket pop. And uh, we're going to put our brisket mop in there. And it's super simple. This is a concentrated blend. I just use about, about half of a bottle, seven ounces. And then uh, two cans of just your regular beef consomme. They're 10 ounce cans, so Oklahoma can opener. Give it a quick mix. We'll go get this brisket, get it wrapped up. We'll be eating for too long. So I double full, and I just pull out two ginormous pieces. And I just try to get as much in here as I can. And if I have a little bit of extra, I'll keep that, because I'm gonna keep all this au jus, and we're gonna use it to dip at the end. And man, that's gonna change your life right there. Now we just put her to bed. Should be about another uh, hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes, two hours. It's uh, warm enough out here. We may uh, 
We may get a four hour brisket. Rackless here. So did you catch them? How many? How many did you bring back? I, I'm, I'm ashamed. I'm, I'm embarrassed. You can't. I, don't I'm tell me you didn't catch anything. We need it. The kingdom has crumbled. But you're in luck. What else do you catch? You catch because I dangle so hard so often, I had a freezer already full. Oh, jeez. Of crappies and catfish, no all way. Out way here, ready to go. Look at the thickness. Those of look these. good. So you didn't catch bush. anything, but you still brought the meat. Which <laughs> yeah, is all you had to do. We tried everything. We really? tried everything. We tried white bass. We tried. We caught bass, but we, you know, we weren't gonna eat those. Yeah. We had crappies on brush piles. We couldn't get them to bite. White bass were like chasing our lures. They wouldn't eat it. Everything, like it just wasn't happening. So I was like, you know what? That's what freezers are for. That's right. I mean. All you gotta do is come back with meat, and that's what you did. So mission accomplished. I cannot wait to see what Cosmo oh. can do. You, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good time. Okay. All right. Let's start cooking. I know what to do with that. And okay. This. Okay. Easy. So that's gonna, it's gonna, this is gonna be our appetizer before the good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that the reason why it's in freezer locks is because he didn't catch anything. But he, <laughs> yeah. He, he uh, brought it from home, I so it's okay. I could have played it off. Could be like, yeah, hey, zip locked. <laughs> Clean it. It's been it's kind good. of funny. Hey, you, uh, sometimes you're the windshield, sometimes you're the bug. It's <laughs> very true. Words of wisdom. I like it. I like it. Hey. All right. That's well, what freezers are for, man. I'm excited. I, Matt had to yeah. really give me a pep talk. I was feeling down. I was like really embarrassed. Right. And Matt's also our, our you know residential counselor here. Yeah. And he was like, you know what? You're so good. You already had the fish. Just believe in yourself. And I was like, you know what? You're right. <laughs> I'm good enough. I'm good enough. They're already there. So anyway, I feel better now. All right, man. It was looking poor though. All right, let's get some Cosmo Q magic on this. Let's do it. All right. So the plan right now, well, I mean, it's your plan, but we're gonna cook. This is crappie, and then white bass mixed with catfish. Mm -hmm. Two different recipes. Cosmo's gonna take over it. He's gonna do Cosmo things. Just go crazy on it, try to make it amazing. Better than anything that I'm sure any of us have ever cooked. But, I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret that we're working on. Rackley, you ready for this? I'm excited. Well, what do we got going on? <laughs> we're, uh, well, we're, at, we're, we're in the works of getting something made. Like, this is, uh, it's, no. I, I can't say a whole lot. I can't say a whole lot. But are, you talk, are you talking to something to put crappies in? <laughs> I'm talking about something that you can put your, you can make your Golden Krispies with that's gonna be our own. Our own, That's what I'm talking about. our own thing. That's what I'm talking about. For Golden Krispies and for other things, all the crazy things that I catch and cook, we're trying to develop stuff for this. So if there's anything that you guys want from us on that side of things, comment down below and we'll read your suggestions and then might even come out with it. Again, I can't say a whole lot, but we're working on it. We're it's trying to serious spice, put on that beaver. We need, you know, <laughs> you're not wrong. We need, we need some serious spice. But if there's anything that you guys are like, oh, this is my favorite seasoning, you guys need to come out with something similar to this. Let us know in the comment section down below. And we're gonna start working on it and come out with the best golden crispy recipe Dude, of all time. That's right Bingo. up my alley. All right, so I'm gonna do these two different ways. I kind of like a little bit of spicy, but you know, like you said, crappie, you gotta taste the meat. Yeah. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna baby a I'm gonna I'm gonna pull back off of that one. So on the crappie, I'm just gonna mix a little SPG in the uh, in the fish batter here. Not gonna go crazy with it. Just want something light, easy. Get that all stirred in there. I like the pepper in there. I ain't gonna lie to you. But uh, with the uh, with the white bass and the catfish, I'm gonna turn it up just a tad bit because I like a little kick. Yeah. I don't know about you. No, no. Yeah. I mean, catfish they're they're a little dirty sometimes. So all right. White, white bass got that red meat in there a little bit. I like to cover mine up. There we go. Just like dousing it with hot sauce. So uh, I'm gonna just put some dirty bird in here. Boom. But this is, this is gonna be the one that just, you know, in, in my opinion, sends it out. Okay. It's well, gonna, hey, you, you say you like a little dirty, huh? Yeah. So this is gonna be a little dirty. Right. So I'm gonna take some of my Nashville hot wing dust, right. which has got some kick to it. I can and smell it. Just and we're just gonna, walk. We're just gonna yeah. mix it right in there. Got some crushed cayenne in there, ghost pepper. Well, what we got? There's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I can't talk about it. <laughs> it just hit me though. I got a whip. Did you get it? Yeah. So. 
We're gonna fry these crappie first. Cause the oil's gonna get a little, little funky here in a minute. I just like to lay them in there. Oh, boom. Listen to that. This is what life is about. Golden Krispies. <laughs> There's only one word for this. It's majestic. It's like it's like swim away. Yeah. It's like swim into your future. So what's your technique on knowing the fish is done? How do you know? When they float. When they float. When they float. That's what my daddy taught me. I just want to make sure. We're not building watches. We got some stuff some floaters. Take them out. Now, you mind holding that for me? How do you like yours cooked? That color or a little darker? Probably a hair darker. A little, a little I, crispier. Yeah, I like mine a little crispier too. A little crispier. But some people, you never know, so I figure out how to ask. Oh, we need those because that's quick. And that, my friend, <laughs> is some golden crispies. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. You want to be the first? I would love to. Why don't we get these other ones cracking? So I was on the water all day not catching fish. Yeah. Um, what do we have? What, what's next on the menu? So right here, this is our appetizer. Okay. Which is in, in the smoker the right now. I would call this the main course. You just wait. Over there in the smoker, we have a wagyu. 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 Is it wa or wa? I don't know. You guys get the point. Made of tomato. Wagyu, get, wagyu, wagyu. You guys get the point. Brisket. Brisket. About like that. Super fatty marbleized. About, about yay big. Oh my gosh, how much is and, that? And uh, six uh, tomahawk steaks that are also wagyu. Can we, can we throw those dollar signs right here? Because how, um, how much? A lot. Is that <laughs> let's, just, let's just say a lot. Yeah. It's a lot of money. So this is just the appetizer. As, okay. as nice as Golden Krispies are. Oh, okay. Now it won't be the, it won't be the best meat you put in your mouth. Right. Put I just want to show. I just want to show Cosmo Q taking it off at the perfect time. Look at the flakiness in that. Woo! Mmm. That almost looks like a uh, 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 clam. What do you call those things? Like a, uh, a do what? Not a mussel. A scallop. That's right. I got a scallop. Man from the ocean knows. Is it unreal or what? This was just the mild. This is like if you've got a small child, like Peric or something, and you want to have them taste fish for the first time and want them to enjoy it. And it's kind of like, it's like go to a restaurant and get them like chicken nuggets and stuff. This is what it is. Now we're kicking it up to the adult version of fishing. Fish, right. fish filet. More right. spicy, more badass. Which I love. We're excited. It's going to be good. You like it hot. Make it rain, wang. You good with it? You good on the appetizers? Cause look what we have now. Oh my god, dude. Wagyu. We have six of them. Three point one pounds. Per. A beast. We are feasting tonight. We're gonna get these guys prepped, ready to go, throw them on the grill. What's next? You guys stay tuned. And will you open a bottle of uh Op X? We're gonna do this right. <laughs> <laughs> Brisket's going in. Oh, my God. Oh. oh. This is all you, zombie. Oh. Yeah, did, anyone get get some... did anyone pick up French bread? Yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Actually, there's sourdough. Yes. No, no, we got we got little uh, French bread, too. Really? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, this gets me excited. Oh, it's, yeah. it's yeah. all in, boys. Let's fix and be hot. How much juice was in there beforehand? Uh, we put about 20 ounces in there. Okay. Yeah. So we mixed up the brisket malt and uh, a little bit of beef consomme. That's gonna make it right nice. <laughs> <laughs> now this is, so as I showed you earlier in the video, there was a seam of fat running right through here. And this is what I'm talking about when, uh, when we separate the flat from the point. And we just find that fat seam right there. You just stick that knife right in there. And it just follows it straight down. Man. <laughs> so 
So, so this is a big seam of fat right here. I try to cut down in there and just, just try to carve it out. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, don't do it. How about that? Oh, don't do oh, it. Oh my goodness. Holy hot. <laughs> <laughs> It was really hot. There you go. We'll let that one cool down. <laughs> Something else in there. Yeah, I'll grab it. Remember that other day when you beat your job? <laughs> so you can see that this this isn't a very big piece. Right. That's why these fetch top dollar. Yeah. Yeah. And all this I do so is good. just. Wow. Is that not sharp or is that just the. I kind of want that ass end. Yeah. yeah. It's, Look at that. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. What is going on in my mouth? <laughs> There's things going inside my mouth. It. Should be illegal. <laughs> That is some of the best so we get brisket oh, meat. So oh, I've it gets ever way had. better. What? Oh shit! Yeah, well, it's not done. It's not. This is oh, different. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, my nipples are gonna be. Oh, cute imagine yeah. these instead of taco. Yeah, these guys right here. Oh my goodness, man! Now, this is this is where hey, we put the opex on there. This is this is my version, and I believe. Uh, out of the sauces we have, four of them are in the top ten in the world, and I believe this is the best barbecue sauce to ever be put in a bottle. Healthy. <laughs> you ever uh, hold a treat in front of your dog's face um, for like like oh 30 God. seconds and it starts drooling? Like this is what every single human that's standing here is doing. They're just staring, staring and staring, People waiting for this meat to land in our mouth. Now I am gonna run this at, at 250. We was running at 300. We're gonna bring it down because we got delicates on here. So what we did is we rubbed these with uh, cow covered, dirty bird hot, Texas beef. This is the recipe that I used to win the uh, 2015 World State Championship. So I figured, you know, if it's good enough for that, it's good enough for these guys. Honestly, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna run these till they hit about uh, maybe 105, and then sear them. Yeah, that'll give me 20 degrees. Yeah, 10 on each side. Boom. So what we did is we put the brisket on. It's right about 12:30. We cooked it for about two hours, wrapped it. Um, as soon as that, uh, that flat got to right at 210 degrees, we separated it, cubed up the point, put them on here with a little bit of Opex, tossed them a couple times, and now they look friggin' good. Oh my goodness, the burnt ends are done. Tomahawk steaks right now. This is gonna be an absolute feast. Rackley, Rob, everybody's back from fishing today, and uh, I'm just excited to enjoy this meal with all the boys. This is looking good. This is going to be our firebox. Right there. So, a lot of Bagugans have been a part of this whole cooking process today. It sounds like there's been some really good food, some meat slabs going on the grill. But I just got back from fishing. Darian's not going to show me how to finish off this tomahawk. Tomahawk is like an insane cut of meat. It's like literally a giant piece of meat on a bone. Looks like a tomahawk, hence its name. And we're going to cook this. I believe it's called caveman style. It's just a finishing touch of... I'm pumped. Let's you do this. Gotta get yeah. ready, man. Meat gloves on. Heat gloves or meat gloves? Meat heat gloves. These, these are heat gloves, heat meat gloves. gloves. You can call them what you want, but uh, <laughs> nice. they're going to save your hand. Yeah. And you're going to thank me later. Yes. So you ready? I'm ready. Fire's okay. ready. Yes. Steak's ready. Okay. I'm ready. John's ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. Pull. Yeah, about a second. Oh. Holy. I just want to take a bite out of it right now. Okay. Now just throw that thing like right there on, on, top of. on top of the fire. We're just charring the outside. It's mm -hmm. called a reverse sear, caveman style. Wow. So oh, we're doing just... it about a minute aside. Okay. You're keeping yeah, track, right? Was in there, was Wait, in there. what, what do you mean? Oh, keeping track since it was in there? Video. Yeah. No? Good? Wait, so I should have been counting earlier or no? Yeah, you, you should have been counting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's okay, okay that's okay, right, that's okay. Right. Let's see what the other side looks like. Switch it? Flip it. Yeah, okay. Check off all the charcoal. Oh, there you go. Okay. There you go. This is some man <laughs> right here. You look like a man. Yeah, I do. I feel like one. Mm. Oh, she's on fire. Good yeah. to go. Oh, oh, come oh, eat. Oh, get that sucker in the pan. Yeah, yeah, water he's right gonna now. be a good one right oh, there. Yeah. I promise you. Look at that. That's gonna be good. <laughs>
just listen. I wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling right now. It smells like heaven on earth. You ready? Eat good. Eat good. Is this the most eat good you've ever seen in your life? Whew. This, this is overwhelming, man. See, I like steak. I love red meat. Fish are good. Don't get me wrong. Fish is good. Ahi tuna, sashimi is awesome. But like, this to me is prime eats. We've got a legend Dude, here to help us. Thank you. you. Nailed it, man. Hey, did I? Nailed it. Sick. I'm, That's I'm what I'm talking about. The, the best part is even begun yet, where we get a fork and knife and go to town. Yeah. We got uh, four more to finish. Four more tomahawks. Yeah. And then uh, grub time. Cool. Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, really? This one's gonna be done right behind. And that's it. That one's done. I can't wait to just take a big bite out of her. I can't believe it's so stinky. It's always the scary part. Let me come in there and just <laughs> do a little dip in that. Well, you can, but that's the fatty stuff. Oh, okay, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit for just a minute while we slice the brisket, and the liquid gold's gonna drop to the bottom, the fat's gonna come to the top, and then we're gonna get them out. Just set it right over there. Mm. Oh yeah, it feels great. <laughs> Rackley didn't get an end though. So here I'm gonna I got a good story. <laughs> Is it all right? Taco. <laughs> Is it taco worthy or what? <laughs> Is it taco worthy? You don't need to put this in the taco. Oh my God. So the great thing about these briskets is, is uh, even in the flat, there's a lean side and a fatty side. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, this is what I consider the taco side, and this is what I consider the... the take a bath in its side? It actually made me 10 grand one weekend. Right here, okay. just this little guy right here. Well, but uh, let's go ahead and get our sliced up. So does it, does it fare well well next to this $1.99 mac and cheese? Or <laughs> well, uh, Parrot cooked that. <laughs> and uh, man, his, his cooking skills are legit the today. Presentation <laughs> point, yeah, or the yeah I, won the, I won the cooking challenge earlier. Right? the members <laughs> mark. Yeah, yeah I also made that. <laughs> I made that, I built the packaging to it today. All right, now this is a little redneck. I've literally never had brisket. But I feel like I'm yeah. in good company, right? Yes, yes sir. Yeah. All right. I barely leave these on. This could, this could get messy. <laughs> That's what she said. We're going to juice it up. <laughs> now, I'm going to run for that trash can here in a second. But um, them fancy uh, fat separators, we didn't get them in Oklahoma. So I had to use a Chick fil A cup. So. What just happened? Oh why'd my do, god. Why'd you do the bottom? Because the fat comes to the top. Solid, almost, oh, I see. So you do you don't quick. want the fat. Yeah. That's just, it coats your flavor. tongue and you can't taste the flavor. Perk, where's your little dipping? <laughs> where's your little dipping rig? Uh? <laughs> you get, you get the bread. 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 Oh, the dipping bread. Rig. Your little <laughs> dangler. <laughs> your little brisket <laughs> dangler. So <laughs> it's just like. Yeah. He's eating little crusties off the mac and cheese. <laughs> there you go. Get that, dip that in there. How you doing? We're gonna be good friends. We're gonna be really good friends. If you and I Holy stick together, wow. just here it is. <laughs> That's amazing. Amen. <laughs> Let me tell you, that is the most luscious, beautiful, gorgeous piece of meat I have ever eaten. Wow. Wagyu brisket. Does anybody like the fat one? Just give it to me. <laughs> oh. You know what? I don't normally like that, but that's. Good. That's the best meat. The, yeah. Best meat yeah. I've ever had. Yeah. Say that again. That's the best meat I've ever had, 100%. <laughs> oh, no, no, hold on. Hold, hold on. on. You gotta take the phone off. You gotta take the phone off. <laughs> <laughs> Steven needs his bone to show him. You don't want to On me? Where? Oh, on me. I'm just. I'm, my mouth is watering. I'm gonna need to walk away here. Look at that, dude. Come on, man. It's a little preview. <laughs> It's an adventure of flavor. <laughs> Which one do you think better? Probably is. Technically, you know, you know by pots of pound. Come on, grab that. Booty pop. Oh, salt bay. You, hey, you want? A little salt bay in there. Okay. Hey! There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> it's like eating butter, but in steak form. I don't like some meat. Well, there he goes. I like the salt. Yeah.
The salt is amazing. I do like it the just, salt on top. It, it just opens make, it up yeah. and pops. I don't even want to talk. Like I just want to eat. I don't understand. We, I, I vote, let's buy some Wagyu cows. <laughs> raise these sun out in the grass. <laughs> I want some. I said you're off of quiet. Oh, you uh, ain't off of quiet. <laughs> I'm just going to get in here. I'm just going to get my dirty pot. The last <laughs> item is the burnt ends of the brisket. Everybody's just digging their hands in right now. That is really good. This, is, that is, really this good. is how we do it. Well, folks, that's how you make the world's best tasting, most expensive piece of meat ever. It was a $2,000 worth of meat. This is how you knock it out in one day. We're about to house it all right now. Thanks to Cosmos. Yeah, we're going Killing to it. coma. Killing it. I'm about to go in food coma. I've already Meat had sweats. <laughs> you ever had meat sweats? It's about to happen right now, right tonight. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, let us know. Because, I mean, I don't think any of us here are going to be pissed if we do it again. If you don't like it, it doesn't so, really matter. I mean, yeah, if, if you can say that you hated this video, we don't really care because we're going to keep doing it. But let us know if you enjoyed it and what else you guys want to see us do next. Cosmo, yeah. thank you for coming. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank, thank you guys thank you. for having me, man. Hey, hey, yeah. his, he's, he has a channel. Do you guys want to know how to like do this beyond this? You did you uh you chicken fried steak you you did like chicken fried steak right and we you made chicken a Philly fried, uh, Philly cheese steak oh, I saw out of that, wagyu a four hundred dollar yeah. cut of so if you guys just want to get pissed uh we'll leave his channel down below you guys go check it out he's got a bunch of cool videos go do it and uh, we're gonna eat this food and call it a day thanks for enjoying Thank us thanks for having fun and also the goosebumps see you guys there. Cheers.